speaks to us right. because we don't know God as much as we should know God. Amen. We know how to clap our hands when the choir is singing. Right. We know how to stand up and pat on our feet when the children dance. Yes. We know how to say amen when the preacher preaches. But right. do we know God? Come on, Pastor. Amen. Amen. We know that we can call on the name of Jesus when the demon comes around amen. Amen. and the demons are fleeing. But do the demons know Jesus better than we? You see, where I'm going with this is the attendance, the attention, our church attendance, our testimonies, the growth in our spiritual walk with God can tell me how much and how close you are to God. Amen. Let me help you to understand what I'm saying. It's hot. Some of us fall asleep in church because we say, man, it was really hot today. I was tired tonight and all. But some of the same people fall asleep in church when it's cold. You <laughs> <laughs> have an excuse on why you didn't come to Sunday school. See, Sunday school is the place that teaches you to believe. Amen. Amen. Bible study is the place that teaches you to believe. Amen. That's the place that causes you to go from being a baby in Christ Amen. to growing up to being an adult in Christ. Right. And some of the reasons that we always say a baby in Christ, remember the scripture verse 40 says, Jesus was telling Martha, I told you Martha, all you have to do is believe. Yes. Amen. Keeping in mind that Martha was the guy's brother that made Jesus up because they were that close. So in other words, if you see Lazarus, you probably see Mary and Martha somewhere close by. Right. Right. And even though the fact that Martha was close by, that don't mean that she was believing the way that Lazarus believed. Amen. And that's what happens to some of us. We don't come to church with other people, and those other people will grow faster than we grow because we don't believe Amen. the way they believe. Imagine sitting next to a person all of your life every time you go to church and they go to heaven and you don't. Amen. Because what happens, what happens is we don't know Jesus as much as we should know Jesus. We know Jesus for a car. We know Jesus for a raise on our job. We don't know Jesus for eternal life. Some of us don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior. We know Jesus as a healer yeah. because Jesus healed the ten lepers and only one came back to even say, Lord, I thank you yeah. for healing my body. Amen. They knew Amen. Jesus as a healer, but they did not know him as Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Jesus opened up the blind man's eyes. He was blind all of his life and he said, all I know, once I was blind, now I see. But did he know Jesus as a Savior? He knew him for a healer. He knew that Jesus could test he could testify to Jesus can open up blinded eyes. Yeah, amen. But did he know Jesus as a Savior? You see, that's what we, we can testify that he'll give me a job and I can pay tithes off the job. Can we testify that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and I believe on the son that God gave and now I'm saved and I'm sanctified and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and I know that my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen, amen. We can say, I know he got me a job, though. Right. We can say, I know he'll get me out of trouble. Yeah. We can say, I've been to court and he got me out. I should have went to jail, but I didn't go. He got me out of a speeding ticket. He got me a raise, but nobody else got a raise. But can we say my name? Yeah. 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 Amen. Can we say that if my heart stopped beating today, I'm going to heaven? Yeah. Amen. And that's a major difference. And part of that problem is we don't believe. That's why Jesus was telling Martha, Martha, you got to believe. I told you, you're, today you're going to see, and this is the part you have to think about. Jesus, first he said, what are you laying at? She said, come on, see for yourself. So Jesus went to go. And now look at her doubt. Jesus is telling them to take the stone away from the tomb. And she's saying, but Jesus, he's thinking by now. His, his body's decaying. She's still showing the evidence of the doubt that she don't believe that Jesus can do what he said he was getting ready to do. He said, I told you. Yes. Yeah. And see, that's what happens. 
Jesus himself can speak to us and we still won't believe what Jesus said, let alone what the preacher has to say. Amen. Amen. Jesus, let me read it again. Please, I hope to God you didn't close up your Bibles. Verse 4, Jesus said unto her, said I not unto you? That just means, didn't I just tell you? He says, said I not unto thee that if thou would believe, thou shalt see the glory of God? He said, didn't I just tell I just told you. I just told you. It's not like it was 50 minutes. I just told you. You're going to see your brother again. I told you, don't worry about it. I'm asking you to show me where he's laying at. I'm going to heal him right now. Right now, I'm going to bring him back from the dead. Yeah. He didn't say I'm going to do it tomorrow or the day after. And Jesus will tell some of that. I'm going to heal you right now. But the doctor said, ain't no cure for this. Jesus said, I'm going to fix the situation for you right now. But Jesus has been messed up so long. I don't think it ever. I just told you. I'm going to work it out for you. I just told you I'm going to turn it around for you. I just told you I'm going to fix it. And you still won't believe. Amen. You, the sad part, you will come to church and watch God work stuff out in other people's lives. All right, all right. You can't get up testifying. I fell 15 feet off of that. He got up and walked away. All right, all right. It doesn't happen. The reason I walked away, he told me because God sent an angel my way. That's what he told me last night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. He said God sent an angel my way yeah. and he assigned an angel to protect me and to make sure nothing happened to me. Right. And he said, I felt, I don't know if any of y'all falling 15 feet off the side of a house hurt. And actually, a man four days ago fell off a roof that I know he's part of Back to Basics, Pastor Giles Church. He's in ICU. They only let the family come visiting because he's that hurt. Because I asked him to see if I could get him to work with me. And the man's in ICU. And his visitations is limited because he failed working on the house. And so Ed stands here and he says, he's doing it for me. I didn't get hurt. I was able to get up and walk away. He said, admit it. After he fell, you look and see, he's all right. They started laughing. Because he fell off the house and they laughing. And Jesus is saying, I'm giving you the testimony. Yeah. I'm letting people talk yeah. about me in front of you. And you still don't believe. Right. Because if you believe, you will take what I'm giving you Sunday after Sunday. Apply it to your life. And your life will turn around. And the next time they say, it's time to go to school. In this school, we teach you about God. And they call it Bible study. You think you would be breaking down the door yeah. to learn about the God that didn't let that man get hurt after he fell off of a roof. Amen. Because you want to learn all you can learn to make sure if you fall off a roof, if you fall off the porch, if you get hit by a car, you won't get hurt too. Right, that's right. Amen. Now, the Bible says because they... Unbelief, they just walk away. Or, or as in the book of Genesis, they just eat and they drink and they be married. Acting as they never heard from God. The Bible says, Jesus says, have I been with you so long and you still don't believe what I'm saying to you? We, as the children of God, have to, have to hold on to God. We, have to hold on to the hand of God and not let go and learn as much as we can about God. Amen. That way, when the enemy comes, when you're sleeping in the bed at night, uh, yeah. and one of them evil spirits, because the Bible is full of the, the, in the Bible, the Old and the New Testament, yeah. about evil spirits that roam the earth, yeah. seeking whom they can devour, and when one stopped by your house trying to devour you as you lay in the bed and trying to overwhelm you, trying to overpower you, trying to overtake you, right. you will know how to make that evil spirit even in your sleep. All right, right. 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 Leave you alone. Amen. Amen. The book of Joseph says, God says, see where you come from. Roaming to and fro. I've been going through bedroom windows. I've been coming through bedroom doors. I've been coming through people's houses through the front door, through the back door. I've been coming through the house through the TV set. That's right. That's right. That's right. Do 